All right, this should be fun. Uh, my next guest has been gently skewering politics for decades with his secret comedy weapon, ragtime piano music. Your parents probably have some of his old records like The Farce of July and DC PU. <laughs> well, earlier today, I'm told he performed at the presidential inauguration. Please welcome political song parodist Tip Rivers. Hey, Tip. Hello, Conan. Tip Rivers reporting for duty. <laughs> hey, and speaking of duty, I think we can all agree that something stinks in our country right now. <laughs> Don't get me started. You are clever. Well, that's exactly why I can't wait to hear your comedic take on the state of politics using the power of old-fashioned piano music. Well, I shall do my able best. Why don't I begin with a classic presidential tune with a twist? Okay. This sounds scandalous and fun. Let's hear it. <laughs> and away we go. Hail to the chief we have chosen for the nation. Donald J. Trump ascending to his kingly throne. Hail to our king who'll incarcerate Joe Biden and give Nobel Prizes to Kid Rock and Roger Stone. Hooray for Donald Trump! <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm sorry, you played that song at President Biden's inauguration? Biden? No, 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 don't be ridiculous. Conan, I would never participate in that farce. We've got to stop the steal. I performed that song at the inauguration for Donald Trump's rightful second term. No, wait a minute, there was no inauguration for President Trump's second term. That didn't happen. No, oh, yes, yes, there was. A small gathering of patriots uh, conducted the ceremony today at White House Paint Supplies. That's uh, across the street from the dildo factory. All you know right. What? No, I don't know the dildo factory, and it just sounds sad to me. Oh, it's not sad at all. You know, they throw all of the imperfect and irregular dildos in a large trash bin outside, and a lot of them are perfectly fine. Okay, they don't tip, mind you're missing the there. point. Tip, it. tip, we've talked about this before. We've never talked about the dildo factory before. Not the so. dildo factory. Well, we've right. talked about your career. In the old days, your songs were gentle and fun and... They were, they were less right-wing. I see what you're saying. You, you, uh, you wanted a song that isn't quite as triggering for sensitive libs like yourself. Is that what you're saying? Little, little, I, I, I dare not melt the snowflake that is okay. Conan O'Brien. All right, <laughs> very funny. No, I just liked your old stuff. All right, let's set all that aside. And Conan, I'll sing you a fun song just like you like. Conan, are you a fan of history? I am a big history buff. Well, very good. Okay, how about this? A song about our country's revolutionary heroes. You're going to enjoy this. Take it away. And away we go. The heroes go marching to the top. MAGA, MAGA. The heroes break windows and shove cops. MAGA, MAGA. The heroes storm the Capitol steps to smear feces on Pelosi's desk. And we salute their bravery. Hurrah! You know, <laughs> you know Tip, stop it. The people who stormed the Capitol weren't revolutionary war heroes. They were criminals, possibly domestic terrorists. Well, Conan, you say tomato, I say tomato. Uh, no, it... You can't honor those people with that song. What are you, high? As a matter of fact, I am a little high. Yes, it's fair to point that out. I usually sing in a nice tenor, but today I seem to be going up into an alto range. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a little musical joke, Conan, but uh, no, I do understand what you're saying. You're accusing me of using drugs. But I'm happy to say, Conan, that I'm 100% drug-free, with the exception of an occasional stool softener and, oh, um, an antipsychotic that I am required to take as the result of a recent court ruling. But I don't always take it. All right. Uh, tip, that's clear that you don't always take it. And uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, I was a fan of your old work. Now I'm worried about you. I can read the room. All right, this is not a big truth crowd. You like something uh, soft and gentle. Okay, so just let me go out on a high note. I'll play you something All right, I know you're going to Do me a favor, don't sing anything political. You have a political song parodist on the show and you don't want to hear anything Well, political. I, you know, after I've heard your, what you're doing now, no, I don't want to hear any of that. Well, that's fine, no problem at all. How about this? How about this? Well, Conan, Earth Day is right around the corner. Well, no, it's in April, so it's not right around the corner. This'll hold. How about a salute to the planet Earth, which is the only planet we currently live on? That's fair. Let's hear that. And away we go. <laughs> Happy Earth Day to me. 
Happy Earth Day to you. Happy Earth Day to the climate that's controlled by the Jews. No, 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 no. Don't get me started on no, that. No, 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 no. Tip. That it's is a real problem. That is. We cannot have any one group of people controlling the weather, let Jew alone the Jews. Jewish Conan, people are not controlling the, the weather. That's insane, Tip. Conan, Stupid. The weather controlling machine is in a, is in a, a little compound just outside of Tel Aviv. That's and okay. No, you know what? Whenever they a... want to make it rain Tip. or or a windstorm or any weather you can imagine, that's where it comes from. Yeah, we. We have a great show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for this idiot. Max Greenfield. Don't apologize. Max Conan, Greenfield the, the Jews will be created joining fog us. So they can hide when they turn themselves into bats, Conan. They don't. The Jewish people don't become bats, you idiot. Of course. Yes, of course they do. They do uh, not. Well, if you prefer to uh, think Max that Greenfield Jewish, will be with us. We'll be right back, and I apologize for this moron. I apologize for Conan. No, I apologize for you. You look like a racist Orville C. Redenbacher. What do you mean, a racist Dorval C. Redbucker? He was pretty racist. Okay, well, that's now we've lost a sponsor. Good job.